Hey everyone, it's Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritious.com and it's time for another grocery discovery and today I'm at Publix. I have found 10 healthy food finds that I can't wait to share with you. So be sure and hit the like, the subscribe and share this with your friends. Do they know how to find and how to shop for healthy foods? Can't wait to get started. Here we are with the foods I picked up at Publix. I wanted to find some foods that we haven't already talked about, so that way we can keep learning even more about how to pick good foods. I also tried to watch the budget as much as possible, but I found a couple of gems here at Publix that I definitely want to share with you, but I'm going to save them till the end of this video because I just got really excited about it when I found them. I didn't pick up any of the produce because you know how to shop produce. I've already been teaching you that, and they had plenty of organic options. So let's move on. The first aisle I came to, I actually grabbed a can of organic corn. I only buy corn if it's organic, and it's rare. I haven't been finding organic corn at the other stores that I was at, so I went ahead and grabbed a can. I just like to have this on hand for when I make my bean salsa dip. It just adds that, that bright color and just that little you know corn texture and flavor. I'm, I'm not really buying it for the nutritional value. There's not a lot of nutritional value. There is nutritional value because it is a food God created. It's just not as high as some of the other foods I'd rather fill our meals with. I picked up a package of ground beef. We've talked about this before from the other stores. The reason I wanted to share it with you is because of the percentage of fat and lean. The, the higher the fat content, usually the lower the price. So if you're going to get like 90 something percent lean, it's gonna be typically a higher price because there's been less fat added to it. But to get the most delicious flavor in your cooking, you actually want more of an 85% lean and with some 15% fat. So I just wanted to point that out to you. There's nothing wrong with having that fat in your meat. It actually is what creates the flavor, um, the juiciness, and that's all good. So I just wanted to point this out. This is organic ground beef, 100% grass-fed. I did not get a chance to, this is from Maverick Ranch. I did not get a chance to contact them. A lot of times I like to call the ranch and, or at least peruse the website to see what they're really trying to teach me. If I had the funds, I would go and visit all of these ranches to see if they really do it like they say. Someday maybe. So I just wanted to point that out and the percent of lean versus the percent of fat. So that's one. Now, if you have my cookbook, Healthy Treasures Cookbook, in it you have the kids' energy bars. And in that recipe, I, I recommend a cereal to use in that recipe. Well, that cereal doesn't even exist anymore. I wish it did. It was the best cereal ever. And the reason it was good was because of the fiber content in it. So for those kids' energy bars, I want you to use a high fiber, really good crunch, and if you can get protein in it as well, a cereal. So this was my pick of the day because it had lots of fiber and lots of protein. Let me just give you an exact number on that. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. So it has six grams of fiber and eight grams of protein, and that's only in a half cup serving. And so typically when you have those bars, if you had two or three bars, you might actually get a half cup serving of the cereal in that. So knowing you can make those kids energy bars for a snack for your kids for after school or maybe mid school, it could be a lunch, it could be a breakfast, kind of high sugar for breakfast to start off with all of that. But still, this is Ezekiel 4.9. This is almond flavored. I didn't really want to get the blueberry. They had other varieties as well, but this was the highest protein and highest fiber per half cup serving. And it's a really hard crunch. <laughs> not too hard, but the perfect amount of crunch to it. So this is gonna be the perfect cereal to put in those kids' energy bar recipes. So you might wanna go and grab that recipe out of that cookbook. I am assuming you own that cookbook. It's, it's all over the place. It's any place you wanna buy books, it's there. So grab the Healthy Treasures cookbook and you can get it from Amazon. You can get it as a download. You can get the actual book. I prefer the actual book because I want to write notes in it, what I liked, what I didn't like, what I added to it, what worked, you know, because I'm always, I never make their same recipe the same twice. 
Okay, another find is organic carrot sticks, and they have sea salt in them. They had several different varieties, several different flavors. I like this because it had the least added flavors, and it is organic. So just to give you an idea, we're talking about 11 grams of fiber and 3 grams of protein. Ingredients are just organic carrots, organic sunflower oil, sea salt, organic or rosemary extract. Now, I wanted to point this out. You cannot have organic sea salt because minerals cannot be organic. It's only living, growing things that can be organic. So don't like lose your cool because, oh, it's not organic salt. Well, <laughs> it actually can't be. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Next over here on this side, we have some tea. This is organic baked cinnamon apple herbal tea. It is sealed organic. It is an herbal tea. It is caffeine free. So now it does not give me any of the nutrition count if there's any sugar in here at all or any uh, any calories or any um what else are we looking for yeah sodium carbohydrates i know there's no fiber in the tea that's that's okay but so i really prefer if i do have it in a nutritional label just to make sure because sometimes i can discover on a nutrition label what they're not telling me on the front label and so i like to use that for my discovery the only thing about this is it does have the organic tea, the organic cinnamon, but then in the right in the middle it throws in natural flavors, but it doesn't identify what are the natural flavors, so I'm going to have to call the company to find out about that. It says non-GMO verified organic apple organic chamomile, but on the front it's saying organic baked cinnamon apple flavored. Okay, so I'm a little bit not sure 100% about this product, but I think overall it's about 99% a good choice. So if you just need a caffeine-free herbal tea pick-me-up, remember if you've been in my classes at all, you know organic tea and organic coffee is the only variety of, of teas and coffees you can drink. No pesticides, no fungicides, you know, because coffee beans and tea get, get a lot of those on them just because of the processing, the drying methods, and all of that. Okay. Now, next easy find is, of course, sea salt organic popcorn. Now, popcorn, I do want non-GMO verified. Some of your corn growers will say that popcorn has never been a GMO crop. You know what? I just don't always uh, trust everything people tell me. So if you could just go ahead and throw a verified seal on the front, then I'm happier, a little bit more at peace with it. And so also I want to point out a serving is only three and three-fourths cups. Now, why didn't they just make it four cups? It would have been easier. And there's four servings per bag, about 150 calories per serving, which is interesting. Okay, so if you just eat one cup, it's 40 calories. So if you just need a quick pick-me-up, and the ingredients are organic popcorn, organic sunflower oil, organic safflower oil, and then sea salt. Once again, you can't have organic sea salt. So I just want to point that out to you. So there's popcorn, and you know, popcorn, even though I prefer to make my own, there's nothing wrong with a bag of popcorn when you're traveling, and you just need something extra to get through that trip. Okay, then in the freezer section, this is a Mediterranean quinoa blend. It has tomatoes, spinach, and basil made with organic quinoa. It's certified organic, and this is a two-serving bag. So if you're an individual by yourself, this would be a good option. I think it was like $3.99. You could make it half that price if you made it yourself, and then you would control all of the ingredients. But if you want to buy something and you're just by yourself and you just you know, want a quick lunch or something like that, it would be a good option to buy. So two servings in the bag and you would get three grams of fiber, five grams of protein. Seems a little low on the fiber. I would probably add some nuts or some other things to it. But still, if you just need a quick lunch or there's two of you and you just need a quick meal, I just think this is a really good option. But as I said, I'd rather you make it yourself. But if you just want to pick something up in the freezer section, that is a go-to. All right, now this, never seen these before. I know I understand the recipe. So this is Chloe's Dark Chocolate Pops. Just fruit, water, and cane sugar, that's it. Cane sugar is not bad, it's about the quantity and all of that. So let's look at it, water, dark chocolate, then there's a puree of bananas and cocoa, and, and cocoa powder, and then cane sugar. 60 calories per serving, and there's four in the box. It's certified organic, and not certified, certified non-GMO. And it, oh, the box is opened already. Hmm. Yeah, I had to check it out. So I had to taste it to see what I could tell you about it. Okay, these are really good. Once again, 
I can make it a third of the price if I made it myself. And we're gonna do a video about that. So you keep watching my video station because we're gonna make these at home and save ourselves a lot of money. But these were very good, very tasty. They're only 60 calories a bar. So if you just need like an after dinner sweet tooth you gotta satisfy, I, I would really recommend these. So these are Chloe's. They're Chloe's dark chocolate pops, just, just fruit, water, and chocolate. Now our next item, I've kind of hold off to the end. This is one of my two that I said, oh, these are really good finds. Well, I probably should say three because those chocolate bars were really good. So this is just cold press celery juice. It's by Suja, it's organic. So it's non-GMO and it is organic. And we see on the label, it's just organic celery juice and organic lemon juice. Now I've done videos on making your own celery juice and how healthy that is for you. I've done videos on making your own parsley juice as well, parsley tea, all of those are really healthy for you and much cheaper to do it yourself. But if you wanna pick up a huge, huge jug of celery juice, just to have in the refrigerator, kind of like an afternoon, you know, just thirst quencher or an afternoon just mental pickup, this would be a good option. Celery, as long as, or, as your celery is organic, you, that's, that is a must because if you have my little shopping card on which foods are organic, which foods you don't have to buy organic, celery is always need, is, needs to be bought organic. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Now, I saved the best for less. This was a good find. I'm kind of excited about it. So I just want to share it with you. So here we have, it's called Cleveland Kraut, beet red cabbage beets and carrots so you know hey cabbage i'm on it beets i'm on it carrots yes so this is all organic so it's it's, it's um fermented so at the top it says live and raw probiotics fermented foods for all this is a good find i've been trying to teach my coaching clients you, you need to get some fermented foods in your diet this is an extremely good find i don't remember what the price was so basically you just need to know this has 16 servings in it you only need an ounce which is like two tablespoons maybe at the start of every meal and that's just going to give your digestive system it's going to help your digestive system to have the right ph balance it's going to help the fermented foods in this are going to help populate your microbiome and a healthy microbiome is is the bomb for your immune system it's like telling your immune system like, hey, we are gonna conquer it today. We're gonna conquer whatever comes along. We're not gonna be offended by any bacteria because we're just gonna get rid of it. So this is just a really great find. I'm very happy about this. It looks, so as I said, 16 servings, one ounce each, calories are 10. So calories are just really pretty much non-existent. There is a little bit of fiber, no protein, which is expected. And we have sugar is one gram and you're going to have low amount of sugar when you have fermented foods. That's okay, it's all good. And then when you look in the ingredients, red cabbage, red beets, carrots, and kosher salt. Okay, this is the find of the day. Go grab it. They had other varieties, different food varieties that you could use as well. So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to have this for lunch today. My stomach's already growling, telling me, hey, let's go eat some lunch. So grab one of these 10 foods that I have picked out for you today. Hopefully you can find them at your grocery store. If you find it at your grocery store, take a picture of yourself holding it and put it in the comments down below. So there we go. That's our grocery discovery for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I am Annette Reeder, the Biblical Nutritionist from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. And I just want to say, Psalm 34, 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who trusts in him. There's only one God, and it is our Lord God Almighty, the high priest who's coming again. If you ever have any questions about knowing who God is, about understanding why Jesus died on the cross, please contact my office because we are here for you. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.